Let's see if, if I can... Oh, shit, no! Oh, God. Well, guys, this sucks. Hi oh, everyone, Bishop Butters here. I'm here bringing you a tutorial on Equivalent Exchange. The Power Flower. A big, the most efficient, I think, uh, layout for collectors and relays. Now, I don't have an energy condenser, which is one of the things you need to make items with this, but you can do one better. You can charge Klein Stars using this method. So first I'm going to take all these. And there we go. And as you can see, this is now has a small amount of charge to it. And I'll just take this back. Uh, what I just showed you right there is a client star charging station. It's collector down here, relay, and a collector surrounding it. You just have to break the relay down to get to the collector. I mean, you have to do the opposite, obviously. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of EMC left. I just purchased enough materials to do this. Now to make this flower the most efficient one, that I know of at least, you need, f if you're going to charge Klein Stars with it, you need 18 collectors, which means I need to gather the AMC for one more, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I uh, now have 13 in my hand, I got one more, and it's now nighttime, which, given, oh, huh, that actually looks pretty nice. So I'll just take these out, and as you can see, I have 18 collectors, 5 relays. Now this is a Klein Star charging station. This is not a um, a matter making station. Like I'll tell you guys later. But first the layout. Okay, you want a five wide by five long by five deep hole. You could do this in the air if you want, but I think it just looks nicer in a hole. Now you want to find the exact center, which is right here, and place a relay down, a uh, collector. Now you want to place a relay directly on top of that. To do that, you have to hold down shift and click. And now what you do is you surround the collector, the relay rather, I keep messing that up, with these. And now when you're done with that, you place a relay on top of each of these, jump up, and surround them yet again. Okay, Ooh, just two more. Now when you're done with that, you place one on top of each one, and there you go. This is the part where you get to choose. You can either put an energy condenser in here, which will bring up an item very much like the alchemical chest, but there will be a target symbol in the top left corner, and an EMC bar. You place the item you want to duplicate in that target corner, and as it gathers EMC, it will spend that EMC to make that item. So you could place diamonds, dark matter, whatever you want in there. Or you could do what I'm doing. Place another collector in there. And use it to charge a client star. There you go. As you can see, I'm getting a thousand EMC pretty much every second. Let's see. Yeah, it's going too fast for me to track. It's a much faster charger than the little chargers I had over there. Those chargers are efficient, but they're not as fast. I forgot to bring jack-o'-lanterns with me. Well, crap. Maybe they're in my alchemy bag. Indeed they are. Good thing I planned ahead. Now, this is just to make it look nice. You can use glowstone, but if you ever want to break this down, it's going to be harder to get to. I just like using jack-o'-lanterns to top these off. If you're using Mark 1 or 2 collectors, you have to do this so that they're always running at full power. These things collect sunlight to run. There we are. These things run on sunlight, and the Mark III's, including the relay, all generate a uh, maximum light level possible, which is 15. However, the Mark I and II's don't generate full power. So thus, when the sun goes down, they don't run at peak efficiency. So if you're using Mark I or II collectors to do this, which you normally should start with and then build up from there, there we go. If you're using Mark 1 and 2 collectors to do this, I highly advise you put jack-o'-lanterns on top. Just find a pumpkin, break down the seeds, start a farm, and, you know, make jack-o'-lanterns. As you can see, this thing has gone from uh, 350,000 to 450,000 in the time it took me to wall this off. 
And that's the basic power flower, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I highly recommend that you either have something to break the p pumpkins with or Swiftful Surrendering Gale in case you fall in. Or you could put a trapdoor in here and make it simpler, but I didn't want to do that. Well, guys, uh, hope you liked it, and I may make more equivalent exchange tutorials if I ever, um, if this catches on. Alright, later, guys.